I mean, Dave comes in there for one hour, and now everybody started listening to him instead of me. It was disrespectful. I'll show you something disrespectful. Let me see. What is oh. that? Keisha, burning all of Trey's clothes. <laughs> She's live streaming it right now. Ooh, when she starts tripping, she sure means it, doesn't she? Oh, damn, she couldn't wait to exhale. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, that's what Trey gets for listening to Dave. Like. Well, what was he doing listening to Dave? He doesn't know him like you do. Right. You are Calvin Butler. Nobody knows this community better than you do. That's what I keep saying. Well, that's why you need to go to that shop and remind people who you are. You damn right. That's exactly what I'm going to do, too. Uh, and then you go get a shame. <laughs> Come on, boys. Come on down. Watch your daddy go to work down here. All right, y'all be good. Ooh, I sure do miss burning clothes. <laughs> Well, if you ask me, the fairest compromise is you cut the grass one week, and then you have your roommate cut it the next. That's a good idea, Dave. I'm gonna go home and tell my mama that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> hey, hey, people. Hey, Whoa, hey, Calvin, hey. you're back. How you doing, man? Well, I'm doing better than Trey, that's for sure. What happened to Trey? No, oh, show him the video, Barty. Oh, is that Keisha burning all this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And that's what happens around here when you don't listen to me. You get roasted. It's crazy that Keisha would do that. No, it's not. Because Keisha's crazy. <laughs> but see, y'all must have forgot who knows you and always tries to steer you right. I mean, like you, Jeremiah. I mean, you up in here selling belts and socks like some common barbershop hustler. Who the one told you that the real money was in men's compression undergarments? <laughs> Calvin, that's not fair. I'm gonna tell you what's not fair. You making your mama cut the grass when she got asthma and a push more. Oh! Q, you hear that? Dave, see, you don't hear nothing. You just out here giving out advice when you don't know the whole story. See, this right here, this is my shop. Actually, Pop, this is Q's shop. Boy, do you want to get shushed again? <laughs> okay, you know what, uh, Calvin, I really don't think that you... You know what, Dave? I think you need to stop giving out advice and start listening. I mean, that's your problem. You're in here, you're sitting in my chair, and you're overstepping. Come on, Pop. Now get up and get out. OK. I hear you. I'll call. Now, Q, thanks for the cut. Jeremiah, I'll see you later. I'll call Trey and tell him that I'm sorry. You can't. His phone got thrown in the fire. 